Hey, I'll cut short of all the hellos and just skip straight to the point. So, the story here is that I thought, what makes my game bad? The answer was mostly bugs and glitches and inconsistent physics. So, that's what I decided to fix. Since most of the bugs were related to said physics, with huge help of my dad, I have figured out a new physics system, but let's start from explaining the old one. So, our old system worked something like this. We have our seat on screen, right? And then our cursor, which is the direction our wind will be blowing to. So, now we have our velocity, which is calculated straight towards the cursor position, and the rotation, which is calculated straight towards the velocity direction, so it would look something like this. We move our seat only towards the direction of the velocity. This old system, however, was flawed in so many ways it caused a ton of glitches. Now comes the advanced physics system. We have our seat and our cursor, like in the previous system, and we do still apply some kind of a force towards the cursor, but it's not like the first system where we use velocity, we use directional force. Because velocity doesn't really work well with physics, so we need to upgrade to force. But this is not it. This is not the only force we have to add. We also have the extra forces, which is drag force and gravity force. Let me explain. Gravity force, as you might expect it, will always pull you downwards. On the other hand, drag force always pulls you upwards, with a smaller force than the gravity force. That is done so as to not let your seed fall too quickly and to keep its rotation always upright no matter what happens. All of this leads to the fact that the rotation system will look something like this. And that is because we are still pulled down and pulled up, but the directional force still applies. I hope that my explanation was clear enough for you, and now let's skip to the next part. The new system, however, didn't obviously work well instantly. There were a lot of glitches, like here. But then I managed to fix it, like he- oh, wait, no, not this one. Like this one. There we go. That works. See? Perfect. While this is happening on screen, I can also tell you that I also added a translation system while working on the physics system, so we can now easily extend the game to any language we want without any effort. This time around, publishing a new version will take me more than usual, since I'm going on vacation and I still have some bug fixes to do, but the game will be available on itch.io when it releases, and this is most likely gonna be one of my last free updates. Uh, for extras, uh, I also started a Twitter, link in the description below, would really appreciate the follow since it really helps me get any audience for my game development, and in general, default YouTube stuff, like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and if you have any ideas, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and well, have a great day!